7.30, which you can check out in for in uh, Westchester's premier location. But now it's time to get right into some grand finals action. Carflow, presumably going the Crom. Typically, he goes Crom against numbers. This is true. Uh, up against numbers. Wait a minute. Okay. Don't you love how the seeding is so nice that seed one and seed two are fighting each other? Then we love seeding. That's okay. actually really right. It is inverted, though, however. Numbers is on the loser side of this. It is inverted. But I've seen Numbers take these back oh, in yeah. a reverse situation. But that means that Numbers has to go through a possible six games in order to get the reset in question. And I think we're off to a really solid start, keeping Carful all the way off stage. But now Numbers opting to go for that relief. Interesting on this interaction, and Carflo wanting a really nasty kill right there, but getting a nice amount of percentage with the up B. Oh, the armor powering through that down air and looking for a down air of his own here. Carflo getting a chance to set up here at the ledge. I've been uh, I've been loving Numbers' pressure in the corner, but Carflo just kind of having to deal with it. Know what licks you have to take before you can get rolling yourself here, Mott. That is the nature of rushdown and the nature of playing fast is you know when you have to take a hit so that you can give one out. That's crumb, baby! <laughs> Carflow taking this stock and just, you know, like we know how Carflow works. When you are in an advantageous state, especially stock-wise, as you would rage on your side as well, he does not care. He's going to continue that pressure. He's going to continue that momentum. Ooh. And you already see a two-stock lead. Mm, boom, boom, boom. That's a two-stock <laughs> lead for Carpo with rage building. And again, not caring for a second for this down, for this deep breathing. Look what is happening. He was trying for the third strike there, uh, Ma, and we almost saw it come into fruition. But Carflo, hey, he's swinging like the batter he is. Getting all of these uppers going, chopping right through that sun salutation and playing way too quick for numbers to adapt despite the, some previous sets that they had. This is a different car flow that's coming at him full speed and with no sense of hesitation in sight. Setting up for so much ambiguity, but into that jab, the down toe not even going to take it full stage. Has to Soaring Slash, has to do it again. And there it is. Yeah. Finally, first off, he's taking uh, in favor of John Numbers. Oh no, you had to go to Chrome at oh 160. No, oh no, it's Chrome. <laughs> oh no, my Obi sucks. It's so vertical. But that is not matter for Carfo. Look at yep. this pressure. Look at this down air. Boom, bam, bop. Carfo looking like, oh yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break out some, some Mr. Numericals here. There's an app. There's an app, baby. It's unofficial, but it's oh, but it's okay. It's fine. But, but it's based. We always like unofficial things. Oh, I might have to take this app. This is this, this, this an ultimate frame. I'll just go to the website. Yeah. I'm not so, app. Dare, Chrome Dare, frame 16, active for two frames, 16 and 17. 51 total frames. Auto cancels on frames one and two, and from 52 onward, though. So you can prep fake dares, or you can set up for big swings like that from Carflow. And like I said before, Falcon Dare is not that much better. Like it, I think it is quite literally also frame 16. Let me check my numbers on that. Go ahead. Why you do? Why, why you go on and check some numbers for us? We are seeing Carflow and numbers take this game to a much more even state. Yep. Numbers more so trying to get some extra damage as well, and we are going to be able to see. We're going to be able to see that with the sun citation and the soccer ball as well. But you know, Carfo does not care. We're going in with the forest smash on the soccer ball, leaving him so much end lag that Numbers able to come up through the platform with the fair as well. Big fan of some of these directional air dodges. Like Carfo knows that a uh, neutral air dodge can get you very easily punished, even with the fast falling speed uh, and the insane air speed that Chrom has available. But might as well go to the platform if Numbers is going to try and give you that space. It gets the parry on the ball, but it still doesn't amount into any sort of stocks here. Jab bear. What offstage shenanigans will Carflo go for this time? None at all. Just trying Oof. to fake out and gets uh, gets eats a ton of damage for his troubles. Yeah, you, you see that one spot dodge, and that's what Numbers is really going what for. He wants you he wants you to go for these panicky options, and that's when he's able to actually utilize that pressure from those projectiles like Sun Citation and Soccer Ball. Carfo going in with this immense, immense amount of, uh, of kill power, and there we go. Epto coming in, just cleaning it right up for him in order to secure a second stock, hopefully with all this, with so much, well not so much, but a little bit of rage building on his side as well. Numbers deep breathing, active and ready. A little bit of F to just to get some quick action right there. And a dash tag, clipping the recovery option. Yeah. 
Tough breaks there for Carfo a couple times over, but you find a grab here, trying to decide when to chase and when to pressure, looking for another one, but numbers playing around ledge just well enough and going for that dash attack yet again. Another sun salutation out of the corner there, Ma. You gotta keep an eye on those if you're Carfo, because it seems like numbers is just willing to let it rip when he's standing with his back to the ledge like that. Carflow wants to move, he's got to contest with a, a, a very, very mighty projectile. I'm seeing a completely different Carflow from game one. You're just, this Carflow is way more patient, trying to slow down and speed the game, funnily enough, as Krom. And Numbers is where he thrives the best. He thrives on seeing your panic options, seeing your approach options, and seeing what you do when you're uncomfortable. Right. And he completely abuses that beautiful state for himself. You saw here, Carfo being a little bit slower on the approach. You didn't see that explosiveness of game one. You saw a way more reserved game two. And I think that's where his downfall was. Yeah, if you give numbers the ability to accrue data, like things can fall things can fall out of your favor very, very quickly because numbers knows how to act upon finding that data. Mm -hmm. He just needs a chance to to gather it. So, with the Krom potentially solved or ways to play around at Carflow, getting a chance to go to Battlefield and swapping over to the Roy to try and get a little bit more explosive, have some a little bit of extra combo consistency, but you get a sour spot up air there and Numbers gets to chill with just a little bit of damage on. Only a little bit of damage and honestly in the risk in his win condition with the ledge uh ledge hang gang it clean 18%. 50% Yep. Off of deep breathing, fair, mind you, and some citation. And we're only going to continue the entourage as Carfo tries to get another advantage to just stay down tilting on ledge with a incredible ledge hang that Vita was going there for a little bit too long. Going with these up airs, trying to pressure with the fair as well. But again, patienting, uh, just being patient on the, uh, the ledge right there, trying to see what option numbers are going to go for. And wisely, unlike a lot of what people have been doing as numbers, wisely not chasing him down into that depths area because uh, you are just going to eat feet and hands and soccer ball. Did you see it? Once again, Numbers has found means to mix in how good he is in the corner by just standing here, but Carflow playing around at that time. He knows that Numbers has been scrapping out of the corner again, playing defense, waiting for that reaction from Numbers. Awkward hitboxes aside, Carflow steadily starting to find openings and find whiff punishes or reversals onto Numbers, but that Sun Salutation, the Even. deep breathing, <laughs> pulling him straight back, and Carflow didn't like that. Even Carflow was like, what? I uh, died? Uh, My DI? Yeah. Gone? Even on Battlefield? Even on Battlefield with all these extra platforms. Look, you'll see Carflow's face. Thank you, Helper, for zooming in for us. But Carflow has to take the stock right now, which is a low percentage on himself. Definitely doable, and like I said, take it now or forever. Like I told you, so I, good. I the, the, the literal like jaw Literally drop. jaw dropping. <laughs> <laughs> Bro was flabbergasted. Oh, what a parry on the part of numbers here, though. It's just ever, <laughs> ever the same expression when in game. It's post game numbers that goes crazy. Another okay. landing fair. Oh, straight into the grab though. That's a pretty nice kick throw. Coming out from Carflow, let's see if he's able to make this ledge play work out. The spot dodge out of shield, set it up again here, my How many times will it take to get numbers into a position where you can close down the stock? I mean, it worked out because guess what? With all the rep rep repetition of expecting an F tilt right from the ledge or expecting a soccer ball with the uh, so spot dodge, you ran out the deep breathing timer the entire time. Not one single lick was, was exchanged during the entirety of the deep-beating timer. But again, deep-beating is active right now. Coming in with the upbeat with the armor and a little bit of damage as well to boot. Trying to get the down tilt, but numbers knowing, thankfully, we never roll towards the ledge against a Roy. It goes too quick, but sometimes Carful will just let it rip anyway. Not the super strong hit, but still enough to set up yet another one of these situations. Carflow waiting for numbers to make a mistake. That roll on is able to do some good damage, but numbers bypasses the ledge that time. Gets a little antsy and lets the Sun Salutation rip, but the car flow patience comes in clutch at the very end, able to close out with that double edge dance. Absolutely, and you saw Clark Clark flow. Car flow was expecting Yo, that sun Yo, we, we He is driving. He's a <laughs> skirt into another stock win. So I can definitely see 
Carflow was waiting for that sensation, we used the opportunity to punish that option, and now we're seeing Carflow hopefully in his win condition right now with a little bit of rage building. As I always say, he's going to take this advantage suit and continue it as long as he can. Double up there to boot into another fair and the soccer ball interruption by numbers and numbers misplacing the sun style so it actually hit the ledge and not car flow. We see a great spot for Carflow right now. Another great. one there from numbers. Like how many dash attacks, how many like, sun salutations has it been out of the corner that Carflow just says, okay, I'm going to manage my shield health and block all of these. Even the up air, not going to close it from uh, from that low on stage. Getting the turnaround grab as well. Carflow just in that driver's seat. And that deep breathing was taking way too long to load up. Even dumb numbers was like, I can't, I can't be breathing for this long now. Has to come back on, back on stage with no deep breathing active. And you are almost like, you're basically in Carflow's kill percentage where he's not comfortable. Even that, unfortunately, that trade not going to be taking it. But this is where numbers might be might be a little bit scary right here. One, you don't have any rage. Two, he is in a losing position. Even that is unable to take it quite yet. You know, up, Roy Uppy, not really a kill move at th even this percentage. Max rage, deep breathing, ah! triple fair, ah! doing it. Okay, we're almost fine. closing out the full stock, we're but. Fine. Numbers still has to contest with Carfo, but now at 90%, this is so much more doable. But you've burned all of your resources. You've even lost your jump here. But Carfo lets him back. Patience has gotten him this far here, Ma, and will continue to do so. No, it won't. The tech is still surviving. Numbers at 180. Stop. Stop the count. Stop the count. Stop the count. We're still Stop looking at it, and That's he it. did it. He let it rip, and it closed out. I knew it. I felt it. I felt it. The instant. Dog. Dog. Once once Helper lost that second stock, that cushion, it was gone. It was done. I just felt it. I've like, seen it happen too many times. I appreciate your, your faith in me, but that was Carflow on screen, not me. Wait, what? You said, you said, you said helper. helper, not Carflow. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I can't hear you laugh. I was cackling. I was cackling. Yeah, my fault, my fault. We all know. Carflow, not Helper. Helper is definitely over here with us having a great time as as we all... Who is having a great the, time? To the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro thought he was dead. He's like, no, there's no way. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we are in an official reset. This is now truly a Pfeiffer versus second. Like, yeah. C is not matter right now. Oop. A little bit. Yeah, we're in, we're in true finals here. Ready, able, and willing to see how it goes to the end. Best of three still, because we got stuff to do, but these two only have to go through each other in order to make this grand finals wrap up, and Carfo is looking to set it off on the same start as he did previously. Just a sheer, overwhelming domination with this Krom. I'm glad he went back to the Krom as well. You know, I, I like the way that he's playing in game one, and I see a repeat of that as well. You're seeing a lot of aggression, you're seeing a lot of pressure on positioning as well. And just dominating that area, that numbers, just the soft spot between the middle of the stage and where numbers likes to be. He's dominating that little area, and you see it work out beautifully in his favor. Carful only at 26%, and numbers just eating another 54%. We are a laughing percentage right now, and the downer into. Okay, that's what we saw like in game one. And another one for your taboo. Oh my god. That's just, that's just how it be, right? When Krom is allowed to play the game. You swear this character has no weaknesses. And then you put him off stage once, but he made it back with that perfect sweet spot of the... Okay, now he's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's done. You have, you have a jump. It's done. And it's like, whoa, plot armor. No. Number, may, numbers be, at Zeno. <laughs> he may be the main character, but it's not Fire Emblem. It's a Smash Ultimate, and numbers is on screen right now. So unfortunately, no plot armor today, but we're definitely seeing some there. Some pressure on shoot in the grab as well. It's a double upper, triple upper for your troubles. Down there, stuffing out that... Quad, that quad up there, up, that was gonna come out. I know it was coming out. Do it. He did it. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? Unfazed. <laughs> Unfazed. <laughs> Unfazed. Like, Carflow is a thousand percent the better player I would ever be. I would have lost my poor already. I would have lost it like 10 games ago, but that's just me personally. I would have lost it in game one of my round one. You can hear the music counter right now. Yeah. It's Aerith's theme. Shout out to Aerith. <laughs> Aerith or Aerith? <laughs> Aerith. Aerith. Aerith? Aerith. Th. 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 Aerith is correct. Aerith is a Americanization. Aerith is Americanization. Aerith is correct. Well, I'm American, so you know what? Aerith. So, uh, die. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Pass away. <laughs> he, he died. He died. <laughs> I didn't mean to say the that music. right there. I'm so sorry. It's the music. It's the music counterpick. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely, if he died, he died. He definitely yeah. died. I'm Som really sorry. Sometimes, you know. Sometimes Rocky IV. Some sometimes, sometimes Rocky IV. <laughs> sometimes Rocky IV. <laughs> he broke out Rocky IV. I'm bro so sorry. Rocky IV. Bro be pushing daisies. Yeah, bro, bro be dying. I'm <laughs> sorry. In the ring. Yeah. Fair. The soccer affair. Just a little oh, bit. Oh, this is it. This is an error scene. This is op this is bombing. Uh, bombing. I know Twitch chat is flaming right now. I'm, 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 so getting, I'm getting so flamed, just like Car Flow, just mm. absolutely exploding. You know, deja vu, right? Uh huh. What just is going like, on? Car Flow solidly wins game one, using that Crom on Small Battlefield to go crazy, and the number says, "Oh wait, it's Crom. I can touch this character, and he explodes." <laughs> and then we go to game three, uh, unless. Haha, <laughs> unless Carflow does something uh, absolutely miraculous here, but it just seems like Numbers is in such a commanding position. That back air was indeed nice, though. It was indeed nice. That back air, though. That back air, though? It was kind of nice. No? But what's nicer Tell is... Tell me more. I must see six games. <laughs> I know I know. I must see six games from these two. Yeah. And quite frankly, oh my god, I'm going to see six games. They're just obliterating each other. It's Don't like, game, previous set yourself. went the same way. Game one... All car flow. Game two, all numbers. Game three, we don't whoa. know. So, <laughs> I have an important question. Is car flow going to throw away the set by going Roy game three again? Yes. <laughs> he's going to go so much nah, he's gonna go, he's, he's gonna go random. Even better. Oh, oh he's he's okay, okay he subverted all expectations because I was also thinking he was gonna go Roy, but I thought that was like the game plan, right? Like have Roy with a counter with a strong counter pick in your pocket, but but no, choose, choosing like, a strong counter pick stage in your pocket, but instead sticking with the Krom. But we are going to battlefield at least, so it's an extra platform at, at, at hand. Um, uh -oh. Didn't use it once the last time no. that he had it, so it's purely visual. <laughs> <laughs> it may or may not be there. Schrodinger's platform. <laughs> oh, it may or may not be used. We'll Schrodinger's see. platform. We'll see triple up at the very least, though. That is absolutely consistent on the part of Carflow. There's so many up airs, so much coverage there. Able to get the jab back air close to the ledge because of uh, some hit recognition. I feel like opening the opening ceremonies here, the opening stock, yeah. is what sets the tone for Carflow. It does. You're right. Because like I said, first dog that goes, he's going to take that advantage state. But yeah. I feel like when numbers is in such a long deficit or a high deficit, he explodes. Like, in a good way. He just completely takes what Carpo does in advantage and does it in disadvantage. And I don't know why. They're complete opposite of the same coin. Yeah. Totally the, the perfect, uh, perfect symmetry, perfectly parallel, but going in the opposite directions. They will never touch. They're just... No. They're, but they are, they are the same yet different. It's uh, crazy. We, we Fit Trainer and Croy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. That was cute. All right, it's over. It's Jover. It's Jover. My Biden Blast is <laughs> My <approaching>. Biden Blast. <laughs> <laughs> Instant replay, thank you. Yeah. Just, the, Just the, perfect, the little, right? When I hear the little bloop of the first two, I get really happy. But it's... It's just per it's like so weird how that's such effective counterplay against um, against ledge stalling and against blanking, right? Just yep. just run off in footstool. Like it, just it's, run off in front of their head. It, it's scary. It's terrifying. But if it works, they explode. It's true. I mean, you, even with like you're just gone, especially as we fit. I mean, even you know, compound matter. If you're able to get it before you're able to get the out, be out. It works and. Uh, Krom. Karf was able to get it in it before Krom John. Never, uh, I was I was really about to call him Krom. Like, <laughs> look, that's him. Krom. That's, that's, that's literally that's Krom him. awakening. <laughs> All right, again, numbers in a deficit right now, but this is kind of where he shines. I'm waiting for fair upbeat. I don't know about you, but I'm just waiting for Carflow just to just to let it rip. You know what's funny? I don't think Carflow is gonna go for something like that. And like this no. kind of <laughs> after uh, like he wants he at the game at the game one he was like nah, 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 nah. no 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 I'm playing I'm not playing no more. Yeah, as, like he threw a lead by getting onto his final stock uh, previously in uh, grand finals. So in this one, no, all business. I mean, this was a very similar percentage though. You know, numbers was in the deep red when yeah. he took that second stock. And he brought it back to a uh, the back. Ooh, the what a life saving tech from numbers. 
Sometimes you got to have those moments. There are those little moments when you get a chance to have another lease on life. Another grab there from Carflow, though. Just waiting for their opportunity. Another forward air and another chance to close out the stock here on ledge. Back airs, up airs, and everything using the top platform and baiting with that movement, finding the up tilt, taking a deep breath afterwards as Carflow walks away from Zeno with a W. Zeno number 286, right? Yep. Nice. Zeno number 286. We're almost at 300, first of all. That's crazy. Second of all, 286. Carflow takes it in a reset. Uh, numbers was unable to get that advantage that I was talking about earlier. That like that fire, that like random. I'm gonna, you're, I'm gonna do breathing and you're gonna eat 100% for it. Didn't happen. Yeah. Thank God. I was start crying right here. I was start weeping actually. I was start bawling. We, we saw it in the, we saw it in game three of yeah. the last set where it's like, all right, I'm starting off. I get my hit. Fair, 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 and instantly, so instantly you're at 100. And like now. No, it was no. all car flow, all control, like aggro, but, but control aggro. It's like, I'm going to establish presence, and you will not get through me without taking damage. Yep. Just great overall, great stuff. I'm glad we had a reset today. We had six games. Yeah. Incredible, guys. Made my night ten times longer, <laughs> but it was fun, so it's okay. Yeah. It's a good time, and it's always a good time to see time. like these uh, to see players like start to figure each other out in such like bombastic ways, because yeah. four of those games were not close. Like five of those games were not close. Like, I agree. Tr like, straight up, they were neck and neck, and that's why they were C1, C2. Like, don't play with the seating, all right? The seating was perfect. Don't yeah. play with me. Prime. But Five. back to that, we do have to close it out real soon. But before we do all that, again, follow House on everything but Twitter. Um, because instead of that, you can actually be tweeting out at Twitter to free HO3K, please. It's been too long. They've been literally supporting the community for a really long time. Like, like, Way long. Forever. Like they don't deserve this mis 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 this mistreatment from Twitter because we threaten numbers as livelihood. Okay, it, it happens sometimes. He kind of deserved it, but regardless of the fact, <laughs> you can use XH point HO3K in the chat and of course retweet the link and use the hashtag free HO3K. Um, free my people because they host this weekly every single Wednesday. We are here at Wednesday. Oh, you got we we got it. We're oh, here yeah. Wednesday. We're here. We're here Wednesdays. Every single here, every single time, every single here, every single here you yeah. can hear us at twitch.tv slash house of 3000. You can also register at start.tv slash Xeno. Set up for the Macharino, which goes towards the Xeno Saga series, which in turn is uh, in the coming month, the Xeno Arcadian, happening April 8th, $5 entry, $10 venue here at Xeno Zero. You can register for it right now at start to slash Xeno Arcadian because not only is there singles, but there are also doubles, which is, is uh, five per person, so 10 for the whole team, happening on Saturday, April 8th. Absolutely, and last but not least, we do have houses. Uh, Monday local is bombs, you know, back my bullshit, as always, who isn't? It's at 7 p.m. every Monday. There are no pools. It is a 64-player cap. It's just straight up a bracket for the... If you're a grinder, go ahead, bro, because this is definitely made for you. I'm not even there because they hate me and they don't have commentary. So, it's quad stream, so every single match is uploaded just for you on the house YouTube, which you can also subscribe to. It is $10 in total for venue and entry. So, again, sign up for bombs every single Monday, 7 p.m. at the same exact venue. Um, as a weekly, as the Wednesday, Wednesday weeklies, and that's it for our ad reads. I'm Austin Nevo with an extra A on Twitter.com. You can follow me or not. That's all right, I guess. You can, you can definitely follow yeah. Ubo because Ubo's or not. entertaining. Yeah. Or not. And we don't. You know who you can follow is House. That's on Twitch. Not on Twitter. That, that's true. Gone. And you can follow either Hev Devin or Helper or John on Twitter in order to get all the updates and join the Discord for even more updates for House of 3000 and all of their events. Yes, absolutely, but. With that to boot, congratulations to Carflow once again yep. for winning Xeno 286. That's it for the rest of the night. I gotta go home and take care of my dog. You gotta take a heck extra train to a whole different state. Yeah, so I gotta get to Jersey. We are going to be going. Have a great night, guys.